Yo, what's going on? It's Ajax here coming back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a hard drive to your computer. Uh, in my case, this is actually going to be my second hard drive that I'm installing to this computer. I was fortunate enough to get this hard drive gifted to me. That's why I'm putting it in. So this is the hard drive I'm installing. It's just a one terabyte hard drive. It's not a SSD. Uh, my computer does not have an SSD. I would like to get one in the future. Basically an SSD is sort of like a hard drive except it's much faster because it doesn't have layers that it has to read through it's just much more digital makes it way quicker that's why you have like games like gta gta on there it makes like those loadings way quicker because it doesn't take as long to read the files all right so let's hop right into it all right guys i don't really have a good way to film this so i'm just gonna have to hold my camera here so i'm sorry if the shots aren't perfect i'm trying my best with what i got here all right, so uh, here we got my PC. Yes, I know it's not cable managed. Uh, don't roast me. But I'm just going to show you guys how to quickly install a hard drive. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, this is my second hard drive. As you can see, I got another one right here already installed. All right, so you only need two cords to install a hard drive here. Um, this port right here is called the SATA cord. And I apologize, I do not know the name of this one, but this one's like the, like the power, and this one like gets the information to your motherboard. Um, so since I don't know the name of it, um, I'm just gonna show you here, it's like, it's like this. It's the same one that connects into like a hard drive you already have. Or if you have like a, a CD drive, you know, like, for a disc here it'll be the same core that uh powers the C uh dvd player or cd drive whatever you want to call it okay so i got my two cords here i got my uh, sata cable and then the uh, cable that uh powers it um the power one obviously comes from the power supply here and your sata cables are gonna be right below your graphics card here on the on the right side of your motherboard right here they're stacked so there's like another one right below that there's like a vertical right there so what you're gonna want to do this is uh where you put them as you can see there's four different slots here I already got one so i'm just gonna take these two cords and i'm gonna run them up underneath so they're coming up through here all right so now i got these uh these two cords needed to run the hard drive running up through here so all i'm gonna do is uh plug them into my hard drive all right, so now you can see I got both of the, the cords plugged into my hard drive here. So now I just need to feed these cords back down and slide this hard drive into one of these slots. And then you have these, these screws on the side here. You can see there's three of them. And you're just gonna slide it down. And you got, so you got these bad boys on here that push in. And you're just gonna slide it down until that clicks into one of these uh holes or if you have an older pc you might have to have like a tray that comes out and you have to screw it in and then you slide it in or some of like even older pcs you'll literally just have to screw it straight into this bracket that holds it in place so with mine that has like these auto clips just push it in and as you can heard it snapped in now it's in place this clipped into one of those screw holes i showed earlier so now this is in here secure so as you saw it was a very easy installation just two cords and just working it into place here um but now that we have it physically installed we need to hook up our pc back up and i'll see you back on my desktop all right guys we're here back on my desktop and if we go into files here you'll we'll see the new hard drive we just installed does not show up here got the one hard drive you saw in there i have two um external hard drives but not the one we just installed so what we need to do after we install and we come on here is we're going to go down here we're going to go to control panel we're going to go to system and security so down here under administrative tools you'll see create and format hard disk partitions and click on that Okay, so then once we're here, this pop-up is basically telling us that it detects a new hard drive in there. So all we're going to do is click OK. And 
then so then you'll see here these ones are in blue because they're working here and this one installed and this it's black here because it's not set up yet you just right click on it click on new simple volume and then you're just basically going to go through this and it'll set it up next 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 then finish And then now as you can see it pops up that it detects it and it's ready to go. So now if we go back into files here, you'll see that we have it. It's fresh, there's nothing on it because we just installed it. So yeah, that's it guys. That's that's all it takes to install a hard drive. It's pretty simple. If this video helped you leave a like. Um go check out my channel. I normally don't upload videos like this, so I mostly do gaming videos. Right now I'm pretty hard on Valorant. Uh, that's the reason I had to install this new hard drive. I'm getting so many clips on there, so I need some more space to save those video files. But yeah, guys, be sure to go check out my channel and subscribe to that. Again, I hope this video helped you. If it did, leave a like. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Uh, and that's been it for me. Peace.